What is up, YouTube? Happy New Year, everybody. Hope it's off to a wonderful start. Um, I know it's been a long time since I've uploaded anything for you guys, but I uh, moved, actually. Got a new place for the new year. So that necessitated me breaking down all of my tanks, all four of them, which was the biggest pain ever. As I'm sure most people know who have ever moved a tank, it is just so many things to go into as far as logistics and planning and you know trying to make sure everything you have gets from one spot to another alive especially with sensitive you know reef corals and fish so um, you know I only had four tanks and none of them were bigger than 40 gallons and that still was a pain so I can't imagine trying to move a, a fully stocked 100 gallon reef tank or something like that I'm you know it's just beyond me how people do that but uh, so far everything's doing okay this is actually the 40 breeder and um, it's the only tank that I have currently set up uh, at the new place. So all of my coral, all of my fish, all of my rocks, everything's in this one tank. And for only being set up about a week, everything's doing pretty well, as, as well to, as to be expected, I guess. Um, the SPS up top, they all kind of took a bit of a hit over the move. Uh, they were without light for about a little over 24 hours. So some, some browned out just a little bit like that one did. But overall, they seem to transition okay. Um, they are making a transition with lights as well because originally they were, they were under all the PAR 30 LEDs in the 15 gallon, but since they're in the breeder, uh, the 40 breeder, I actually have um, two T5 fixtures. So I've got four T5 bulbs at the moment running on this tank, a little bit over 150 watts, I think. Um, they're all ATI bulbs, so they're good quality. And overall, they seem to be doing okay. Um, this red monscap is actually doing really well. I love this coral. It's really easy to grow. It looks really pretty, and um, it also grows really fast. So I dropped it, unfortunately. It, it was a little bit bigger, but I dropped it during the move, and a couple pieces broke off. But other than that, it looks really dope. So um, fish-wise, the only loss I suffered was my Hellfreak firefish, unfortunately. Um, he died, which sucked, but he wasn't looking too hot before the move, anyways. So. The move might have just been like kind of you know the last straw that finally did him in, but all the other fish are doing really well. Here's my uh, awesome Mr. Rass right there. He took the move like a champ. Didn't even care. And um, you know, like I said last, I waited for one of these guys for so long, and I'm so happy I finally found one because he is just the coolest fish ever. Well, well worth the wait. Um, he did squabble a little bit with my Carpenter Rass right here. Um, he was in the other tank. He was in the 15 gallon. So. Um, upon first meeting, they didn't take, you know, too kindly to one another, but once the Mr. Rass kind of harassed him for a bit and kind of showed him who was boss, they settled down. So, when you know, whenever you move tanks and reestablish the rock work and, you know, make changes, the fish, you know, they kind of have to reestablish, you know, that pecking order of, you know, who's boss, you know, and just establish, you know, the, the dynamics within the tank. But overall, everybody seems to be doing okay. Here's um, a good shot of my pink spot, Gobi. Um, he's usually out and about. Um, but he just kind of hangs out at the bottom of the tank. So um, he's right there, I'm sure. Yep, the, the black cap basslet hangs out under here still. That's his kind of spot. Um, the kill spot actually likes to hang out in the Monty cap. He'll you know, kind of post up right there and sit and watch everybody else, which is funny. Um, the only fish that didn't get along was clownfish, which are notorious for being mean. Um, so, <laughs> since he doesn't know how to play nice, he's down in the sump. And... Um, yeah, that's how everything looks so far. I don't want to make this too long a video, uh, but just kind of wanted to show you guys that I am still here, and um, it's just it'll it'll take me you know a while to to get everything you know set back up. Um, like I said, this is the only thing I have set up at the moment, but you know with family in town and the holidays, it's a busy time, so I just haven't had a whole lot of free time to set everything up. But hopefully, you know, in the next couple of weeks and months, I'll be able to shoot some more videos of some new stuff I'm doing. And um, I look forward to seeing what you guys got uh, going on for the new year as far as what you're doing with fish tanks. And um, so that's about all I got for you guys. Once again, Happy New Year. Hope everything works out for you guys. Um, as always, I really appreciate everybody that watches my videos. I've had a bunch of new subscribers lately, so that's cool. Um, hope you guys enjoy the vids, and uh, I'll get back to y'all when I get back to you. Thanks, guys.